Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In chapter 5.2, we'll be learning about the graphs of modulus functions. In particular, I would like everyone to take note on of how to transform the graphs or, okay, or how to perform some basic transformations. Okay, so let us first look at our learning objectives and think about the step-by-step -step process of sketching these graphs. Okay, so given any modulus function graph, we will always sketch the original graph or the function y equals to fx, then reflect the part of the line that is below the x-axis, okay, or rather use the x-axis as a, as a line of reflection, and finally retain the part of the line below, okay, the below what we have just sketched as a as a dotted line okay so if you're feeling confused okay at this moment don't worry because we'll look at some tangible examples okay so in example number 1a we are asked to sketch the graph of y equals to mod of 2x plus 4 okay so let me just highlight what are the steps that we will go through so the first step will be to sketch the graph of 2x plus 4 okay so first sketch this graph, which is, you know, what we also call a function of x. Okay, so what you, have, what you see here on the screen now is this graph of y equals to 2x plus 4. And how do you sketch such a graph? Recall that any straight line graph is in the form of y equals mx plus c, where m is your gradient and c is your y-intercept. Okay, so in this case, y equals to 2x plus 4. The y-intercept should be at the point 4, okay, since c in this case is 4, okay, and the gradient should be 2, okay, I need to say your m is 2, okay. So all we are doing here is to sketch an upward sloping line that cuts the y-axis at the point 4, okay. So following that, we will reflect, or rather, we will, yeah, we will reflect whatever that is below the x-axis, okay, upwards. So as you can see, this portion, okay, maybe let me just highlight in red, okay, this portion over here that is below the x-axis has been reflected up, okay, in the second graph over here, okay. So step two would be to reflect, reflect the region or the graph, okay, below the x-axis, okay. So this portion has been reflected upwards. And finally, this is the graph of y equals to mod of 2x plus 4. Okay, so, you know, it's really just as simple as, as it is, as what you've just seen. Okay, and of course, there are more complicated examples which we will look at in a while. Okay, so in example 2b, we are asked to sketch the negative version of what you just saw in example 1a. Okay, so... The first step, we recall in example 1a is to sketch the graph of y equals to 2x plus 4. And then the second step will be to reflect, okay, whatever graph that you see below the x-axis. Okay, and finally, the last step, the third step, okay, which is what we're going to learn, okay, in example 1b. So recall this is your graph, okay, from example 1a, and this graph is the graph of mod y equals to mod 2x plus 4. Okay, so now, now, because you can see there's this added negative sign over here, okay, over, let me just highlight over here, that's this negative sign. So what we're going to do is to reflect, okay, the entire graph you see over here along the x-axis again, okay. So this is the graph of y equals to negative mod of 2x plus 4, okay. So... Let me just uh, highlight, you know, the important thing. Over here, this negative sign means that you will reflect the entire graph as seen on the left-hand side of the screen along the x-axis. So this entire graph was previously here, okay? And now, as you can see, it has been reflected along the x-axis to produce what you see in the, on the right-hand side of the screen, okay? So don't worry, still got many more examples to go. Okay. 